How to create spheres in Photoshop. Now I'm using Photoshop CC 2019. Do the same thing in 2018, 2017, etc. Elliptical marquee tool, because what I want is a circle and I'm just gonna hold the shift key down and I wanna fill that circle. It's gonna be obviously turned into a sphere or a pseudo sphere anyway. Select the gradient tool. Select a gradient and make certain the radial type is selected. That's the key thing here, radial type. And also the mode is set to normal. Right, now just apply. Just apply it near the top, just that. Now if you apply a bit further, it just ends up not looking really spherical. There's certain positions where it looks more spherical than others. Now normally slightly outside. And now you get a really nice spherical design there. And you can apply it multiple times until you're happy with your, your gradient and the spherical effect. So I'm just going to select another one, another gradient. And you can see the sphere there. Some work better than others, personally, I think. Uh, so I think it's just a bit of trial and error on the colours and the effect you want. So that's a nice gradient as well. Now, you also want to highlight. Now you could, of course, go with that red highlight. Absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with a red highlight, but also what you can do, you can add an edge to it. So you can add a bit of white edge. So I'm just going to, obviously maybe not that much, but just, yeah, just extend it a bit. So you can just get that rim that's nice and white. And I'm also going to add white at the left side of the gradient. So I'm editing the gradient at the moment. Click OK. And you can just drag that out. So edit the gradient at any point just by clicking on the gradient and you bring up the gradient editor and it's it's great to tweak it tweak it in numerous ways maybe make the highlight even brighter there so and once you're happy with that and okay, again go and select another gradient there and again apply it and again go and edit it just go and quickly go and edit and move that slightly to the right click and add another stop and then just go there add a white stop and go over the other side and then on the right side just click there and add another white there. Once you're happy with that, click and just drag. And you see there's a white edge just around the edge there and also the highlight. Now the highlight might not be what exactly what you want. And a good way of actually improving that highlight is using the brush tool. I always actually go and edit it afterwards. Just go to the brush tool and just paint a white. So I've just set the color, foreground color to white. Set the size, maybe something like 190 and just add some bright and you can apply it just around that sort of central point there and you can apply it once twice three four times up to you make it really strong highlight once you're happy with that you've got your selection go to the edit and copy command because what you want is a layer i want to add a layer deselect that current image and now just edit and paste now it's got a layer, you can convert it into a smart object as well via the layer menu. So layer and then smart object. So layer and smart object and convert to smart object. And the reason for converting smart object is you can transform and apply effects and those sort of things. So it's just nice to convert it. I'm not going to add anything additional to it other than those adjustments, etc. And now you can just resize it. Perfectly happy there, just resize. And now to duplicate it, just hold down the Alt or Option key and drag. So you can just create multiple spheres and you can place them all around the document. Now you can also resize them. You don't have to keep them all the same size. Obviously you can just, and then again, Alt and drag, Alt, Option and drag, I should say. What you can do when it's a smart object, what you can do, you can actually apply adjustments to it so as well as effects so you can go to the image menu and then recolor it so image adjustments and something like color lookup or hue and saturation but i'm just going to go for color lookup once i've stopped there yep and i'm just going to select one of the LUTs there lut and you can just range, just change the colour of that sphere very quickly and easily. And of course you can go to camera raw filter and also modify it as well there. That's another possibility. 
So once you're happy with that, click OK. And again, you can do exactly the same as before. You can resize. You can also Alt, Option and drag. So you can create multiple copies of that design. Now, if you're if you don't want to do any more and you want to go back to the original one, just quickly go down in the layers, just go and select one of those layers and then select that. And again, Alt, Option and drag. Or resize it as well if you want to resize. Move around. Now, obviously, it's slightly lower in the layers now, so you could, of course, move it up to the top if you want it above. Adjustments, and you can modify again color look up of that one if you want. Move that out slightly out of the way. Once you're happy with that, click OK. Now go to the layer menu and flatten. So you've got your sphere background. Now what you can do then is actually select part of that area again using the elliptical marquee tool and select the gradient and just add another gradient there. Just, just drag that. Again, just in that corner part there. Again, you can edit the gradient if you want. We'll just use one of the gradients. That... And again, you can tweak that. Just click on there. Just go to the left side. Change that stop to white. Click OK. And then just change it. And you see you've got highlight again. Again, edit, copy. Deselect it again. And then paste that. And again, you can convert that to layer and smart object, convert to a smart object. And again, Alt, Option and drag. Resize. Put that up the top as well. So you filled the whole entire document. Flatten the image via the layer menu. Now, what you can do then, you can recolor the background in numerous ways using image adjustments, just as before. So, image adjustments, and again, color lookup. So, you can just go through there. So, you can change it numerous ways just by some better than others. So, once you're happy, click OK. And of course, you can go back and apply again and again and again. You can Go to filters as well, camera raw filter, filter menu, camera raw filter. And once you're in that, you can manipulate the colors in numerous ways. There's a whole range of different temperature, tint, so you modify that, tint, exposure, make it contrast, go the other way, highlights, click OK. And again, just apply again if you want. Filter, camera raw filter. Just go into that and just, again, until you're happy with the design, click OK. Right. Now, another way of adding some really interesting colours to it and making some really wonderful, weird designs, I think it's the gradient tool. So just go and select the gradient, gradient tool, gradient, and instead of normal for the blending mode, use difference. So with difference selected, just go and apply the gradient now to that image. Just apply over, over the top, and you can create very surreal color schemes using gradients. And you've obviously got thousands of gradients to choose from as well. And you can create your own gradients as well. Right, once you're happy with that, that's it. Some wonderful sphere designs in Photoshop created very quickly and easily using selections, gradients, etc. And you can also apply effects as well. Perhaps not always the best filter, so creates a very subtle change there, actually, to be honest. But there's lots of other filters that can be added to the spheres as well. And of course, you can always go back if you don't, if you're not happy with the design. So you can just go and select the the one you actually via the history panel. That's always another good option. Anyway, hope you found this of interest. 
Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials. As well, please add some comments. Always happy to hear from you. Thank you.